Hey, Coach. So in the first half, you guys struggled from beyond the arc, but it seemed like you guys continued to shoot it. Was that something that you wanted to emphasize, or was that more just taking what the defense gives you? No, you know, I uh, thought first half, again, we were away from, uh, you know, our arena, and uh, it was a lot of noise. They had a good crowd, um, a lot of noise. Uh, they pressured us, and we settled for some of those shots. You know, we wanted to go inside. I thought we took too many threes in the first half you know, with 14 or 15 seconds left on the clock. Uh, and we needed to be more disciplined to, to work for a better shot. We didn't. And, you know, I thought second half we were a lot better in terms of, you know, turning down a, a, a good shot for a great shot or an okay shot for a good shot. Uh, we had a lot more assists. We shared the ball. So, you know, we settled down and we were more poised. Uh, the crowd wasn't too loud. And, but the first half, we just was uncharacteristic. We didn't play good enough in the first half. You got the first eight minutes on the road. You got to be really good. That's when the team trying to throw a punch and trying to go on a run, and, and they and they did. To speak on the second half, uh, when the uh, St. Louis got, I think it was like a twenty-one point lead. It was late in the game. Uh, Makai Ashton Langford seemed to really continue to fight, and actually was able to cut the lead to eight. You could speak on, you know, just him, you know, in that second half and how he performed and how that was big for you guys moving forward. Talking about Makai? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, again, it was all about just being more poised, you know, uh, taking a better shot, you know, executing better, having more patience, uh, you know, playing off two feet, making good decisions underneath the free throw line. That's what it came down to. You know, in the first half, we didn't make those decisions. Second half, we did. Uh, Makai was aggressive. You know, he got to the rim uh, and he made good decisions, whether a shot for himself or kicking out for one of his teammates. So, um, but it's a 40 minute game, not 20, you know, we won the second half, and, uh, but the first half the game was, the game was out of, not really out of reach, but it got out of hand in the first eight minutes, you're down 15 points. And some of that had to do with, you know, our uh, lack of ability to, to, to execute under the rest with a lot of noise. Thank you, coach. Yep. Thank you. Coach, uh, this was really the first true road game since, since you URI, So it's been a little while. Um, you mentioned just with the noise and all that, is there a way to simulate that? Or is this just a learning experience for the guys as they move forward and start it's to gel it's together? A learning experience. I mean, me and my staff and also the guys on the bench, we all got to be better in terms of providing energy and, um, and helping the guys weather the storm. You know, um, when you're on the road, that's all you got is a, you, know, you got a few fans, you got your teammates, but other than that, it's, everybody's against you. So we have to learn how to deal with that. You know, can't play every game at home. And so we have to learn how to deal with that. And we have to continue to pursue trying to be good on the road. And um, again, we did it for 20 minutes there, but it's a 40 minute game. You can practice with some noise in the gym, maybe. Maybe you can do that. But, um, you know, again, it's just you got to be a little bit better on the road. You got to be eight to 10 points better on the road. And so um, we're not there yet, but, but we still got a lot of season to go. Uh, when you have a team that shoots well from the outside in particular, like St. Louis did, um, I, I've never really known. Just how do you defend against that? Do you send out a guy? Is it just a matter of getting a guy hit in the face? Like, how do you just defend when a guy, when a team is shooting well from the outside? You try to just keep contesting hard and making sure you do what you can do uh, to control and help them miss. you got to contest. Um, you know, Jimerson made five threes. He took 13, so he took a lot. But they had some other guys who haven't really made threes that, that knocked in a few shots today. They shot it well. They played good. They're a good team. They had a really good shooting day. We contested a lot of them, but uh, we got to contest harder. And we got to make sure they don't get open ones. I thought they got a couple corner threes that were open. Uh, you know, they got one in transition that was open. But, you know, the only thing you can do is contest harder. And, um, but, you got again, you got to give them credit, too. They were sharp. They made shots. Uh, so you got to put the ball in the basket to, to have a chance to win. And, and they did it today. Yeah, yeah. that is the last bit. I know that you, you've mentioned, you know, you've talked about getting up the hill and you talked about the grind and, and, and all that facing a good a 10 team. Um, how does that kind of play in as you get ready now for, for the ACC, uh, when you get in, when you get into the whole meat of it to face a team that's good and, and, you know, also from a good basketball conference. Yeah. You know, right now uh, I got to worry about trying to play this one last non-conference game, which we got in less than 48 hours, try to be prepared for that and play to the best of our ability. And we don't play again after that for, you know, multiple days. So, um, you know, we'll try to just finish the non-conference the best that we can, and then we'll get prepared for, you know, the, the great opportunity and challenge 
to play in one of the best leagues in America. Let's go compete and pursue being a good team to the best of your ability.